back to Mark's Racing Engines, Mark and Missy's Performance. So, uh, I'm doing this video as kind of a, eh, it's just kind of a quick video. Uh, there's a, another YouTuber, good guy, has a good channel. You might check him out, Gold's Garage. Uh, he's recently bought one of those Proform uh, um, uh, valve height micrometers, and I've had issues with, they're basically the same ones. Uh, they're made in China. But they actually work pretty good. I've got two of them. <clears throat> I use them quite often. I have some other ones too, but those those I actually use more than I use the good ones just simply because they're easier to use. So uh, anyway, we got 90,000 90, projects going on in the shop here. We've got big block projects, small block projects. Uh, we burn our little nitrous motor up. I'll, I'll do a video about that later. We, we burn up Captain Spaulding. Um, we've got, uh, the old 350 that needs to go in the truck. We've got, uh, the Dodge motor I need to put together. We've got a bunch going on here, man. Uh, I've got like, I don't know. I think I've got 16 motors to build and then I've got more coming because it's off season now. Everybody wants their stuff freshened up. But anyway, that's not why we're here on this video. So I, I want to show you this. Uh, so this is one of those. Um, if I can get it in camera, this is one of those height micrometers. Now they make them in black and red now, but it's the same one. So I want to show anybody that gets these because when you get them, they're always out of calibration. So I'm going to try to set this tripod somewhere where we can so we can look at this. Uh, so anyway, when you get them, they're, they're almost never calibrated. Uh, and the way I calibrate, calibrated mine was with a big pair of calipers. And I just take a standard height, like inch 800 is a common, is a common number. So we'll set this at inch 800. <clears throat> inch 800 and then we'll check my height micrometer and we are at oops, if I can get it turned around there we are right at inch 800 so now I've already calibrated this one, but I'm going to show you how you do it. Uh, give me a second. I'm going to pause this, and i got to get some stuff, and I'll show you how it's done. Okay, so what we're going to do here is, like, we're, we're set on our calipers at inch 800. Um, I mean, this is elementary. AG knows this. I'm, I'm just telling the regular viewers um, he would know how to do this part here. Um, I'm just I'm just trying to explain how you can calibrate these cheap gauges because so we know we're at uh, inch 800 okay so when, when we have it set at inch 800 on the actual micrometer don't worry about what this says but just set it set it with your calipers and then go back and put a mark uh, where zero is on the inner part so we know that what I meant to say was line the zero up on the bottom veneer with the, the mark that you made on the top, then turn the barrel uh, that has the veneer marks on it, line those up with the, with the mark on zero and then tap it back together. That's what I meant to say. That's right there. If you see that little red line there, we know that's lined up with zero now. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this thing apart. And this inner sleeve right here, at least in every one. Now, now everyone's not might not be this way, but every one I've ever gotten is this way. Where this inner veneer is actually, you can pop this off. And they pop off quite easily. I will show you. Take a light hammer and tap it.
<laughs> now you're gonna make a liar out of me. It's not gonna come off of there. Until you start to get a little bit of a gap. I don't know if you can see that little gap right there. And then you can take a small screwdriver and get up underneath it and pop it off. And it, that ring pops off just like that. That inner barrel pops off just like that. Now what you can do is, uh, is take that inner barrel, line it up with your mark. Get your mark lined back up like that. Now we have to press that back on. Uh, now I have a socket that I do it with. Whoop. And this, this part is a little tricky sometimes. Let me get the tripod over here. I will see if I can, let me see if I can get a better camera angle here. All right, now we can see it. Okay, so we have our we have our mark where it goes. Uh, let me check it one more time. Yeah. Okay, so you can take a big socket. I actually take the the end of this thing and knock it back on there, uh, and that gets it started. All right, now I just found a big socket. This is what I use for a lot of stuff. And just knock it back on there until it's all the way flush like it was before. I hope I'm getting that in the camera. This is kind of a short, quick video. So, uh, And then screw it back together. And now you're calibrated. So it's that easy, guys. So if you get one of these cheap, cheap ones... That's that's how you calibrate them. You got to knock that inner ring off. Uh, turn it where you need to turn it. Knock it back on. So that being said, hope everybody has a great day. God bless.